where Zashi is. I think a dog followed you. <laughs> what are you doing? Where do you think you're going, guys? Let me go. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and also welcome if you are new. I'm so grateful to have you here. So my name is Aquia B and here on this channel I cover all things faith, lifestyle and beauty related and in today's video I'm going to be continuing on with my reaction to The Chosen episode 7 with part 2. But before I get straight into that I just want to quickly encourage you to leave a like down below on today's video and also comment something that you're enjoying as you're watching the reaction and also if you haven't already then please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel before either continuing with the reaction or leaving this video. And also if you haven't already then please make sure to check out my previous reactions to The Chosen and also the Chosen trailer reaction that I did initially. And let's get straight into it. Where are you going? To be alone. Ready to think. And to pray. We'll pray also. And I did not put you in terrible danger. <laughs> you have not. In fact, I have made plans already tomorrow night. Plan? Yes, spread the word. A dinner party in the northern district. The tall house just past the arch. That road homes. I know the kind of people who live there. Trust me. What about the others? Oh, doggo. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I want it. Thank you. Hello, Ima. His mom. Uh, uh, Elisheva, I mean. Hello. Thank you. I don't receive visitors myself. This is the custom. If your father were here, I couldn't do this. Where is Alfie? I think a dog followed you. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out here if you let me in. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Oh. Ralphie is to be home soon. He's away. On a work trip. Where will work take him? Does he no longer make leather boots? His shop was robbed. Many of the shops have been. Crime is rampant and it's very difficult to reopen. I love this shop. But we still have a roof over our heads, which is more than some people can say. You can ask me for money if you ever need it. How can you say that? It's quite common. I've seen many parents and talent dependent on... Your father would sooner die than take your blood money. I know you are ashamed of me, but your decision is irrational. Rome will continue to collect taxes no matter what. I'm skilled with numbers. Did you come here to justify yourself? No! No! Everything's like sand in a flood. The things I thought I knew to be true. Are you in trouble? Do you think that impossible things can happen? That overturn the laws of nature? That cannot be explained. That is what people asked when you were a boy. Even the rabbis were astonished at your talent for reading, math, the way you could think faster than any other child. They thought you would be someone great. Great at what? I'm rich. I have an armed escort. I'm trusted by the Praetor of we Galilee. We never dreamed you would use the talent God gave you to bleed your people dry. But have you ever seen anything miraculous? You. My whole world. Everything I thought I knew. What if it's wrong? I think you should go. Oh. You 
You never even asked about your sister. She looks well. I came to celebrate Shabbat a few weeks ago. Then I left. Oh, oh yeah, he looked through the window. Goodbye, everyone. Oh. That's so sad. with Rome. They're the ones who sent him to Mary when she was possessed in the Red Corner. I'm well acquainted with risks, Sam. Uh, so are you, if I remember our first meeting correctly. Hmm? Risk is his oldest friend, I'm afraid. <laughs> Simon, Mary is an excellent judge of character. She has known some of the worst kinds of men in this world. And she finds him earnest. You should trust her instincts. And mine. Oh. Rabbi, I've got it. Ah, let's take a look. Can you keep her quiet, please? No one needs to know anybody's sick. I can't tell her not to cough, son. I just don't want our burdens to become his, okay? I don't want to be the one to distract him. He's made up his mind about you. He's not going to kick you out of the group. It's perfect. Well done. Well, I think I could fit all of you in here with me, huh? You won't be recognized in that. As the owner of the house giving permission, it's all arranged, Rabbi. And I'll be waiting at the door. Thank you, Andrew. You go on ahead, but remember to relax. You are there to guide our guest, not to be my protector. Are you sure you don't want me to come? The more eyes watching the streets for trouble, the better. Not tonight, Simon. Stay here with your wife and your mother-in-law. <laughs> you see? Mm. <laughs> uh. Welcome, big news. Don't be alarmed. He's waiting for you. I asked the owner of this house for more lanterns, but he said they would draw attention. Yes, I imagine they would. The human eye is drawn to light. We can't help it, it just happens. There are many things we are drawn to without our thinking or our ability to explain why. Thank you for agreeing to meet. Thank you for trying to help Mary when you did. <sighs> There's no help. You were meant to be there. Me? fail miserably at an exorcism in the Red Quarter. If you had not been there that day, would you be on this roof tonight? I don't know where to start. I have so many questions. Right, shall we sit first? Oh, yes. slums. Hmm. Many wandering preachers have succeeded in gathering crowds with their rhetoric and fiery tone. I've heard a few of them over the years myself. So you know the type. But I have never heard anyone tell the paralytic to get up and walk. Much less it actually happens. So what is your conclusion? I believe you are not acting alone. No one can do these signs you do without having God in him. Only someone who has come from God. And 
How's that belief going over in the synagogue? Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why we are here at this hour. What else? What have you come here to show us? A kingdom. That is what our rulers are worried about. No, not that kind. <laughs> that one. A sort of kingdom that a person cannot see unless he is born again. Born again? Yes. You mean right, a new creature? Conversion from Gentile to Jewish? No, no, that's not what I'm talking about. Then what is born again? I hope you don't mean return to the womb, because that would be a problem for me. My mother, may she rest in peace, is dead. Truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. That part of you, that, is what must be reborn to new life. How can these things be? Ah, I teach you of Israel and yet you do not understand these things. Huh? I'm trying, Rabbi. I know. I know. Do you hear this? What? Listen. What do you hear? The wind. How do you know it's the wind? Because I can feel it. I hear it sound. Do you know where it comes from? No. Do you know where it's going? No. That's what it is to be born again of the Spirit. The spirit may work in a way that is a mystery to you. And while you cannot see the spirit, you can recognize his effect. Mind is consumed with thoughts of what a stir these words would cause among the teachers of the law. Yes. And I do not expect otherwise. I speak of what I know and have seen. And it has not been received by the religious leaders. It is hard to receive. So if I have told you of earthly things, and you do not believe, how can I tell you heavenly things? Ooh. I believe your words. Truth. I just fear you may not have a chance to speak many more of them before you are silenced. I have come to do more than speak words, Nicodemus. More miracles? Yes. But even more than that. Do you remember when the children of Israel complained against God and against Moses in the wilderness of Paran? Yes. They wanted to return to Egypt and they cursed the manna that God sent them. And then? They were bitten by serpents and they were dying. But? But God made a way for them to be healed. Moses lifted the bronze serpent in the desert and people only needed to look at it. So will the Son of Man be lifted up, so that whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Our people are not dying from snake bites. They're dying from taxation and oppression. I'm sorry to disappoint you. And I did not come to deliver the people from wrong. Then from what? From sin. From spiritual death. God loves the world in this way. That he gave his only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. So this has nothing to do with Rome. No. <laughs> and about <laughs> sin. God did not send his son into the world to condemn it, Nicodemus. He sent him to save it through him. It's as simple as Moses' serpent on the pole. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already. <laughs> I've heard anything like this. What? <laughs> Can I imagine? Oh Maybe dear. That day. I told my wife and my students I said she was beyond human aid. Only God could have healed her. 
said that I saw him. He goes, here you are. He said, in foot races last night? Darius ran like a gazelle. Jews don't go to foot races. Your old friend Simon himself used to run the wager on the tables. We're not friends. <laughs> Next. Okay, bye. So you did not go to the races. <laughs> you stay home? I went to see my mother. Ugh. That would put me out, too. She asked when you're going to give her grandchildren. She didn't ask. I thought your parents don't speak to you. I had questions I couldn't ask anyone else. A mother of a son with talent like yours should be proud. She's ashamed that I could use the talent that God gave me against God. Next. You're good at something. You found a way to make a living doing it. It's that simple. Must be nice to live in a world so simply ordered. We live in the same world, Matthew. Next. Besides, what else are you going to do with a mind like yours? Oh, no, stop. Uh, that look is, oh. Uh, <laughs> Matthew. Matthew, son of Alpheus. Yes. 
follow me. Yeah. Come on, Matthew. Yes, you. Oh. <laughs> no. You want me to join you? Keep moving, street preacher. You have any idea what this guy's done? Yes, no? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Listen, I said to <laughs> What are you doing? Where do you think you're going, guys? Let me go. Have you lost your mind? Oh. You have money. Quintus protects you. No Jew lives as good as you. You're gonna throw it all away. Celebration to prepare for. You will regret this, Matthew. What's the tablet for? Grab it without thinking. Isn't it that? No, we'll keep it. You may yet find use for it. Where are we going? In dinner party. I'm not welcome at dinner parties. Well, that's not going to be a problem tonight. You're the host. Okay, so that is the end of today's reaction. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, then please make sure to let me know by leaving a like down below on today's video and also commenting something that you enjoyed. And if you haven't already, then please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel before clicking out of the video. And I'll catch you in my next one. Stay blessed and bye.